everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Marsha Wald and I am the owner of Art of Living Maui located on the beautiful island of Maui. But before we go further, don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel. So today we are going to continue on the topic of numerology, but we're going to get juicy today because as you can see, I'm in my room. So we are going to be talking about numerology and love. Yes, love, love. So I'm going to share how numerology actually helped my marriage. So numerology is learning about the characteristics of numbers. However, numerology goes way back into the Bible, actually. God used numbers a lot in the Bible um, to give instruction and to um, tell of the timing of certain things. And so there, each number is very symbolic. In fact, in the Bible, there's a whole chapter, um, book, I should say, sorry, that's called Numbers. And there is a reason why the book of Numbers is in the Bible because numbers have power. They tell a story. They're symbolic. Numbers, once you know and can tap into the vibration of numbers and know how to apply it to your life, it is a game changer. So back to how numerology helped my marriage. So remember in, our, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how knowing the personal year that you're in. So there is the universal year, which is the common year. For example, we're in 2020 and you reduce that to a single digit. So we're in a four. Number four year is all about, you know, structure, rebuilding structures, tearing down what doesn't work, building solid foundation, relationships, you know, um, getting organized. And so this year, you know, it's about that. And then based on our birth numbers, we also have a personal year. So we have a universal year and we also have a personal year. So there's the vibration of the universal year that influences our life and our personal year also influences our life. So how does this help with love and how does this help with my marriage? So I am in my four year and my husband is in his five year. And four, again, structure, foundation, home relationships, and that's where my mind is right now. But my husband is in a five and five is about change and freedom and I want to be new and, you know, so I noticed that, you know, he changes wardrobe, you know, and that's the first sign you're looking at, mm hmm, change the wardrobe, hmm, what's next? And, you know, he's paid more attention to his, his body, he's working out more, he's getting all buff and I'm like, hmm, okay. And then he's like, you know, babe, I want to go out, you know, by myself and I was like, okay, that's fine. Go on, explore. So this, he started his personal year. It started when his birthday was last year, 2019. So um, 2020, so he's going through a cycle. So I wanna say thank you for the C19 crisis to kind of calm him down. No, it's okay. So, you know, I'm okay with my husband having the space to do, you know, his pursuit, what gives him joy. So going back to how numerology helped me, when I saw all of these little signs, you know, I started to, you know, the first thought you're thinking is like, hmm, it's something up. And that's when I pulled my numbers. I said, oh, let me check to see what his personal year is and what's going on. Thankfully, I did that. Thankfully, I had numerology to provide me with some guidance, apart from my intuition, but what this did for me was it helped me to know that he's going through a phase and to allow him, give him the space to go through the phase. So, you know, look at how many people where they have these scenarios where they break up and then they get back together a year later or a couple months later, they want to get, 
it's the stage that they're in. The phase will change because he's in a five and he wants change and freedom, but then his next stage is a six, which is family again. And one in that home and relationship is really important. And people that are in their year six, oh, getting married, getting in a relationship is like the forefront of their mind. Because six brings out the nurturer. Six people are very nurturing. They care about others more than themselves. They are the, the mom, the Christ-like energy of the sixes. So this is just to give you an idea of how numerology and love works. So if you are dating and you know, you're really into a guy, but this minute he's hot and he's cold, check out his personal year. Find out what his personal year he's in because that will save you a lot of heartache or will help you to know how to navigate the relationship because it could be that it's not that he doesn't want to be with you. It could be the energies that are happening, the vibration of the numbers that he's in. So um, I hope this tip helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel and leave comments below. You know, if you have questions, go ahead and leave your questions. I will definitely answer and share your thoughts on this topic as we dive deeper into numerology, the game changer. Stay tuned for more. Thank you again for joining and showing up today. Malama Pono, aloha. Thank you.